Hi, here I am today to share with you the Quilty Box Challenge. So this is a Quilty Box. This comes from a place called, guess what? Quilty Box. So it's QuiltyBox.com and they send out, um, it's like a monthly subscription, a bit like a magazine or something. They send out a Quilty Box with all sorts of yummy Quilty stuff inside once a month. And this is my box that I have just received. It's a very exciting box this month. And so the challenge is to make something from the box. Rather than just having a wonderful box and just looking at those things, I'm going to make something. So inside your box you get a little card that tells you a little bit about the products that are in the box and why and all the rest of it. And, and this time we're featuring quite strongly um, some products from ByAnnie.com. Some of you may know of ByAnnie.com. She does the wonderful soft and stable batting. She does all sorts of um, bags and parts for bags and lovely stuff. I really like ByAnnie.com products. There's a nice letter in here from ByAnnie.com that talks a little bit about their products and about what's inside the box. Very exciting box this one. And so further to that, inside the box, there are all these scrumptious things. So we've got here from, again, from ByAnnie.com, she's included in here the Stash and Dash. It's a pattern. It's basically a kit to make this whole roll-up mini organizer. And inside there, she's got the soft and stable batting that she uses in, in her so many of her bags and organizers. It's a wonderful sort of foamy, it's a self-forming batting. It's really good to use. There's the pattern to show you how to make it. Now it includes, uh, the pattern is showing a, a little roll up with a little pouch, uh, sorry, pockets in it. And so inside here, I see that we've actually got the zip so that you can make this whole organizer. She's got the zipper with a couple of pulls on it. Plus also inside the bag is a couple more bits of hardware. We've got here the, the buckle that you need and an extra zipper pull because there's actually three zippers in that. So there you can see all that. Also included is some clear plastic for a clear plastic pocket as well. So you couldn't want for more than that in a, in a pack. That's just so exciting. And as well as all that, there's a pack with some of the mesh so that you can make some of the pockets out of mesh. So to me, that's just the most exciting package that you could receive. And if that wasn't enough, there's also some fabrics in this box. So now these fabrics are just a wonderful collection. There's five half yard cuts in here. Um, they're from the Bohemia collection by Macau UK from Andover. And inside here, we've got these this whole array of deliciously coordinated Bohemia fabrics. So the challenge I've got now is to make something using some of these products out of this box. So I'm just going to head off now and think what I'm going to make and I'll be back with you shortly and show you what I'm doing. So I've been thinking about what I might make with these delicious fabrics from, from this quality box and I've decided I'd like to make a little uh, travel project bag in this case, I'm going to use it as a little book cover, but it would also be a really good uh, little bag that zips up for when you're traveling for sewing or whatever it is that you like to take away with you. Most square, it's going to have a little handle on the spine that you could carry it with if you wanted to. Around the edges here, it's going to have a zipper because there was a very delicious zipper in the box. And it's going to open up and when it's opened up, your notebook, there's going to be a couple of mesh pockets here because there was some mesh that came in from byannie.com and I'm going to have it so that the book could slide the back cover under one knot of pocket and then you could use the other as a pocket. This is the spine, the center back. This bit here is a flap that closes over but you can store pencils or maybe scissors or whatever it is that you want to carry around in your little travel project bag. So it's not going to be very big
So using the measurements on my rule on my board and with the ruler, I'm going to come down and just draw that line there. And that was my halfway, and I want to come three quarters of an inch away again. I want a one and a half inch gap between my two drawn lines in the center of this piece. nice boxed edge which is going to be the back as if it's a book cover there. So you're wanting to draw a line there two three four and maybe just one more which ends up being an inch and a half in from the outside edge so these are all one inch apart these lines here so you want to draw five lines and then we're just going to like we've just and when you get to the pocket bit I would suggest that you just do a little back stitch as you come onto it just to add a little extra strength there so that when you're putting pencils or tools in and out it's got a little bit of extra strength there. And just hold it firmly because it's a little bit wobbly with that zipper in there um, and just keep an eye that it's all sitting nice and straight and just trim off that extra piece that we don't need and we're going to sew all the way along here with our quarter inch seam allowance and come round and we're going to stop with a little back stitch right at that little point in that corner there around this next corner again just to make sure that you know what I'm doing here. Don't be frightened by zippers. Zippers are so much fun. They enable you to make wonderful things. Okay so I'm going to leave the needle down. I'm just going to ease it around a little bit. Just for a couple of stitches and another couple here. And away we go. See, now that wasn't so hard, was it? We're on the straight again now. So I've finished attaching the other side of my zipper, just the same as I'd shown you on that first side. And you're just going to continue on all the way around until we get to the other end on the back here. And then just take it slowly so that you're not stressing you or the machine. Now we're coming up to where I've got that um, overlap bit where we joined the binding. So that's also quite bulky because there's an extra couple of layers of fabric in the corner. I've gone round the bend. And now I'm just going to continue on right back to where I started. So I finished the binding. This is just looking great. I'm so pleased with my little travel pouch. So you can see here the little joins looking good. The corners are looking nice. There's a zipper here. 
it's looking nice and tidy inside the way we finished off with that zipper there and we've got these nice little mesh pockets we've got this pocket here so that if you're going to pop some tools in or pencils or whatever it is that you want to use this for and I'm going to be able to put my little drawing book in that'll slide just in through one of the pockets there it's going to sit nicely the idea of the flap is that these tools are then not damaging whatever's over this side that's covered up but you could keep other things in this pocket of course that's going to zip closed we're going to pull that zipper around we've got a handle on the back and I'm off on a trip so I've chosen to use that I really wanted something for that little drawing book however I would just as much like it to be a little uh, travel sewing bag I could keep some little projects and things that I'm working on and my scissors and needles and things in there so I think that's great there's only one other thing I might do I've had a little bit of leftover binding so I've just stitched it down folded and stitched it and I'm just going to thread that through the zipper and you could either tie that which I'm probably going to do now because that's what I'm doing so that I've just got a little something to hang on to or you might stitch it on but that will just enable you to find your zipper pull without any trouble so that's what I've done with my quilty box this month I wonder what you're going to do with yours so that's my little travel pouch there is going to be a pattern up on gourmetquilter.com and don't forget the quilty box that all this has come about because of this is a monthly subscription from quiltybox.com they send out a delicious parcel box every month with uh, wonderful goodies inside this time we had some wonderful stuff from byannie.com each month it's different it's a bit of a surprise it's all new products it's usually um, put together by a designer so some fabrics that they might use with a pattern that they might use etc etc so it's usually got a theme to it it's a very exciting parcel to receive in the mail it's a subscription don't forget to go and have a look and check it out and let us know what you're making with your quiltybox.com.